How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Bobby Six Killer. Today we're going to be checking out the early demo of a game called You Bell, it, which is a visual novel I'm very excited for. Uh, I would say it looks very Zero Escape inspired, that sort of thing. You know, just the sort of thing we do around here, and I'm very excited to uh, get to try it out. The developer sent us over a very, very early demo uh, for us to check it out before everybody else gets a chance to, which is really nice. Um, let's jump in. We're going to run through the entire demo here and. Uh, see what we think and uh, when it comes out obviously we will be doing a full let's play on the channel which i'll be very excited for as well but without further ado let's jump in shall we um i'm not too sure what engine this is built on it doesn't appear to be built on renpy though so i'm not sure maybe the developer can leave a comment down below and let us know the image that greets me in the mirror isn't too unpleasant a bit tired sure but nothing a quick morning routine won't fix i turn off my phone alarm that's right before an important event, I wake up before my alarm does. Not that I got too much sleep, anyway. No, my mind wouldn't stop thinking about it. Me? Why me? What did I do to deserve it? The water runs cold between my fingers. The pressure is laughably low, yet I don't complain. I let it pool as much as it can on my hands before splashing it all over my face. This early? I shake my hands dry and pull out my phone. Two new messages. I open the first one and start reading. Hey, what's... I stop and look at the time it was sent. 4.37am. I mark the rest of the messages, read, as read and tap back. Somebody drunk messaged the wrong number. How troublesome. The other messages from my landlord. With slight worry, I read it. Hello, I've been receiving some mold complaints from room 201A, and since you're a June book... A adjourn to them, adjoin to them. By law, I need to inform you before I can do anything about it. So, this is your heads up concerning that. Anyway, good night. I stare at the phone quizzically. 201A, but I'm in 512B. I hesitate whether to let him know about the error. Eventually, I do. Message read. No answer. To be expected. I look back at my reflection. Well, I look tired, sure, but not too shabby. Must be a good omen. Hmm. Looks like he's here. Carefully, I nuzzle my face against my coat. Cold like always. I stare at the boy in front of me. Sigh. You look like shit. And you're late. Not like you have anyone waiting for you at home. Always something smart to say, huh? Learn from the best. No, no. I taught you when to stay quiet. Something you always openly rebel against. Oh, come on. That again? Yes. That. We won't meet people as charitable, nor as forgiving. The world outside our family is much tougher. You need to learn to adapt. Blah, blah, blah. His voice returns to its regular pitch. See? I'm adapting already. Insufferable. Was I like this at your age? Oh, come on. You don't mean that. I hit his shoulder lightly. Sometimes I think too much for either of our well-being. You know, I'm just glad those days are behind us. Yeah. About that. What the fuck did you do? Nothing, nothing. I've been keeping my head down, like you said. Don't play me. What was that look for? Spill it out. What's going on? I wasn't looking around or anything. It's just... I've been offered a job. No, no. Stop right. Stop right there. If it's a job from the old gang, it's not. It's something different. I promise. It's not the old gang. They don't run in the same circles. That's good, right? Fine. But what is it? It's a lot of money. What is it? Like I said, money. Lots of it. What was that promise we made about keeping clean? I know, but it's been years and we're only slightly above water. One slip up and we're back with them. You know that. I said I won't let that happen. It still stands. Not if you can control it. 
But like you said, the word outside our family is much tougher. I don't want to be as desperate as we were, as we were. I don't want to do those risky jobs ever again. I'm sorry for what we went through. And I'm sorry for making you do all that. My hand reaches out to his shoulder. He moves away from it. I know, I know. I don't blame you. I just want as much of a normal life as I can get. For both of us. But we can't do that if we are far too busy worrying about when will the floor collapse under us. He's right. How long have we suffered? This person. The one that reached out to me. They offered so much money. More than we've ever seen. I failed to protect him before. As tempting as this is, I need to do what big brothers do. One last job? What do you say? This isn't the way. Not again. Been there. Done that. We'll talk about it later. For now, let's make sure we have a bed without any bed bugs. We both know what it means when you say that. And we both know how dangerous it is. I'm sorry. My answer is no. Ugh. Why does everything hurt? My limbs feel heavy. My head drowsy. Did I drink myself to sleep last night? Last night? Huh? Where am I? My body twists to stand up, but before I find my balance, the room tilts heavily. No, it's not the room that's unusual, but my vision. My throat is stiff. Some water, please. I... How did I get here? Where was I before this? My stomach starts churning. Instinctively, I bring my hand to my mouth, but nothing happens. Strangely enough, my body feels weightless. Just for an instant. Slowly, the fuzziness takes form as I recognize what it is in front of me. A closed door, like those in a high-tech facility. Am I... a prisoner? What? There's no way. The room spins as I launch to the door. I slam my hands against it violently, my palms stinging from the cold metal. No, no, no. I press my face against the doors in the hopes of hearing someone, anyone. Hello? Anyone there? Get me out of here! I feel an unnatural discomfort as my neck connects with the metal. Ugh! My fingers run around my neck. Ugh, neck collar? When did this... Someone must have put this on me while I was unconscious. But who would do that? I feel a sudden heaviness in my chest. I can't remember anyone. I can't remember anything. My... My name. My name is... Without thinking, I bring my hand to my head. Who am I? Where am I? Why am I here? I... My knees cannot hold me much longer. I slide down to the ground. No. I can't give up. There must be a reason I'm here. Locked. A keypad means there's a key code. Huh, of course. There must be some clues around. Oh yeah. Definitely Zero Escape inspired. In order to escape the room, you have to solve all puzzles present. Note, this is a toned down version of the room that will appear in the final version of the game. Use the left and right arrow keys to change the perspective. Okay. The control key shows points of interest in the room. Nice. The left mouse button lets you interact with these points. Use escape or right mouse button to exit a game after you activate something. Nice. I think that's pretty much zero escape, uh, zero escape buttons as well. A toned down version, I better not fuck it up because if I can't do the toned down version, I certainly won't be able to do the proper one. Uh, let's have a look. It's open, but we can't. Okay. What about this one? Oh. Huh. There are scratches on the wall. The policeman is out for blood. Adjacent moves only. Oh, I see. What on earth? Is this a puzzle? So... Adjacent moves only. So... But he's gonna try and get to us, but we have to get to the end? Can't we just go straight then? Or are we trying to get him? Do we have to corner him? Interesting. 
Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> come on. That gives you a lot of range, doesn't it? That lets you close a lot more distance because of the way it's structured. Depending on where we are. Gotcha. Trial and error that, baby. <laughs> That's how we do. Batteries? Now, where can I plug these bad boys in? Good question. Something in here? Ooh. Game Boy. Can I... Oh. Hmm. Did I win? Nothing happened. Maybe I have to die. Let's go die. Nope. Okay, I know you're all shouting at the screen at me, but it's kind of obvious now that we think about it, isn't it? Because it's a... it's a 4x4 grid. I said that already when I was trying to work it out. It's a 4x4 grid. And this here is also a 4x4 grid. 7, 8, 9... actually, let's just write that... that grid down. Because my memory's not so good. Uh, what is it? 789X. That is the worst 7 I've ever written in my life. And that's saying something. 456Y, 123Z, and then C, 0, underscore, hash. A 4x4 grid. Just like this is. And just like where the stars are, right? So that's stars there. 8. That star's there, 5, that star's a Y, and that star is a 3. 8, Y, 3, 5. <sighs> My god. Guilty conscience speaking. Come on, man! Where does this come from? Why are you picking on me? I'm not alone. Should I feel relief? Should I feel fear? I'm not sure. Sure enough, I start hearing more voices. A commotion. Against my better judgement, I rush to meet the new faces. I don't know man, they sound pretty worrying. Oh look at this guy. He's scary looking. <laughs> the voice of the man comes off breathy, probably caused by the other who holds him up in the air by the hem of his shirt. The man holding him up is huge. Why do you act so scared then? Guilty conscience, I say. I am scared! Because a gorilla man is lifting me two feet above the ground! Gorilla? Pardon my intrusion, but perhaps name-calling isn't the best way of establishing trust. Hey, button up! Are you for real? What about him threatening my life? I haven't given any death threats. Yet. That's a joke, right? <laughs> but if you don't hurry up and admit your crimes... What the hell, dude? I swear on my life, I don't know what is going on! You gotta believe me! No one messes with Joji. I can make any son of a bitch talk. Man! <laughs> Furiously, he starts tapping his attacker's arm. Let him down! He's turning purple! I'd say it's more of, like, a crimson color... The heavily built man lets go of his victim. With a heavy thud, the yellow-haired guy falls to the ground. Ready to talk? I know nothing, alright? The big guy reaches out for his collar again. In a panic between coughs, Aiko manages to blurt something out. Swear it on my life and my siblings, include my dogs too! Hallelujah, help me! Look at that guy! Dude hasn't moved a muscle since we got here. The big guy stares at where he's pointing. How can he be so relaxed in this kind of situation? Don't you think that that's suspicious? Case closed. We found our culprit. You're welcome, by the way. The big guy stares at where he's pointing. Unlike others, I prefer to observe and evaluate the situation before giving in to dismay. Please refrain from inciting violence against me. Being shy is hardly a crime. Would you not agree? I would agree. Minding my own business isn't either. And yet... Sheesh, what a way to start introductions. 
But you do you. Leave me out of it. Ugh, gross. I think that some of his sweat splattered on me. Will you watch out next time? <sighs> Come on, not you two. Not trying to play the victim here, but don't y'all see I didn't start this shit? Slow down, everyone. I know what to do. We're all just very anxious and stressed by the situation. How about breathing exercises? We just need time to stop. We have been abducted, drugged, and clipped like cattle? And you want to do breathing exercises? Mm-hmm. Taking mm -hmm. a deep breath calms your nerves. I like it. <laughs> it also reduces anxiety. She's chill. How would you know we've been drugged? Dude, I do that shit every... Ew, please keep your personal life to yourself, thanks. Because it just doesn't sound very interesting. That's a free toss. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree with that statement. <laughs> The clash between these unusual personalities explains why none of them has any idea about what is happening. Did they go through the same thing as me? My eyes gear towards their necks. As expected, thick metallic collars clasp around their throats. They may be allies, but the big guy huffs. Well, who is it then? Who's behind all this? Their impulsive behavior and the way they interact raise doubts. Are they all strangers to each other, after all? That's quite enough. Infighting won't do us any good. We've had our time to cast our emotions, but now that all eight of us are here... The woman looks in my direction as if she'd known exactly when I stepped into the room. It's time to start using our brains. Okay, fine. <laughs> I must admit I wasn't doing that earlier as well as I probably should have. It was only then that the others first take a look in my direction. Their curious glances grant me the spotlight. Not something I was eager for, considering my condition. Um, hey everyone. So who the hell are you? Infighting, remember? Bottle up your testosterone, old man. <clears throat> You're wrecked. The yellow top lady grins in their direction, somehow satisfied with that interaction. <laughs> Where are we? Some sort of... Secret lab? Movie set? One of those rich folks' alternative homes? For real. Neither one of those looks like this. The pretty girl tosses her hair arrogantly, examining her nails as though bored. Jeez, isn't that common knowledge? Do you all live in caves or something? Well, we can't find out because we can't leave. Every door is locked, except for the cells. Actually, those were also locked before we solved those weird puzzles. Oh, that's it! We're in an escape room! Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Dude, so obvious now that I think about it. A room full of puzzles and the door unlocking after solving it all. Literally an escape room, I tell you. I don't know about that, Ego. Do they usually kidnap you too? Well, no. Usually you pay extra for that bit. But why nitpick? <laughs> Tomato, potato. Kidnapping. <laughs> so his name is Iko. And did he genuinely mess that up, or is he trying to be funny? We can't know what's going on until we gather all the information we have. Perhaps, as a collective, we can piece it together. May I ask you, miss? What information would ameliorate our unfortunate situation? Anything you've seen or heard. Trust me, that's more likely to help us out than physical force. Exactly my thoughts! I'm in favor of less physical force. Peace and love! Don't ever say that again while looking at me. <laughs> I like Aww. that guy too. Is the big man embarrassed? I just don't want any hippie looking at me while saying that. You got a problem with that? Please don't provoke him further. He's gonna murder us. <clears throat> I proclaim peace! Well, if he said it, it must be true. Now that we have resolved our differences and learned the errors of our ways, it's about time someone jumps out and screams, April Fools! Or, surprise! Happy birthday, dude! Any minute now, please. 
Man, you make very little sense. It's not even April. Anyone's birthday then, by chance? Hmm. Little man is a waste of time and breath. Does anyone have an actual, plausible reason as to why we're here? According to my calculations, we have been captured. Great, another funny fella. So, eight full-grown adults, and nobody knows what's going on. Apparently. Huh, <laughs> check the cameras around you. My cell has one of those too. Somebody knows what's up. Oh, wait, no! That's a terrible angle. You barely see my jawline. Such a crime can't go unpunished. Your jawline? My best feature, of course. Oh, really? I thought it was your hair. Okay, well, maybe my second best feature then. You have a great eye, hun. Hair? Yeah. Jawline? Do we have other stuff to worry about? While the rest bicker about priorities, the woman from before redirects her gaze at me. We got out not long before you did. How are you feeling? Everyone woke up in separate cells with those numbers above the gates. And none of us remembers much. I'm feeling better, but a bit weak. I wonder when was the last time I had a meal. And, um, my memory's like a puzzle picked up and shaken apart. We all have that one thing in common. Hazy recent memories. <sighs> I would welcome sitting through any lecture over this. Um, maybe not networking. No, I don't like networking. Neither. Wait, so do you remember something at least? Mm, a bit. A few classes here and there. It's hard to recall much without my notes. Usually, you cram it all in a week or so before the exams. No, no, I mean, in general, in the general sense, do you remember who you are before you got here? Yes. Why wouldn't I? Maybe someone has it out for one of us? Any of you got enemies? Can't say I've made many friends out there. Yeah, I can imagine. Shocker. <laughs> With my following? Mm, too many to count. Jealous bitches everywhere. I avoid any and all confrontation most of the time, so I don't think so, no. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the huge guy uncrosses his arms, takes a couple of steps forward, and bends over at her eye level, as if inspecting it. You don't look like you'd be on any list, kid. Oh, uh... Well, with the adrenaline going, I may have spoken more than usual. <laughs> Old man, you can't make a judgment of character when we've just met. I was just trying to be friendly. Stop calling me old. <laughs> that was friendly? You're slowly pushing your luck. I'd say he's rapidly pushing his luck. Oh, peace and love, peace and love. <laughs> well, the eyes are on me, so here it goes. I have no friends, no family, or enemies. Except Joji, right? He's your enemy now. <laughs> Can't name anyone who would hold a grudge against me. That is how you achieve harmony. By not disrupting the natural course of others' lives. Why am I here? Who are we? Why do we exist? I ask the big questions. Ah, your weird speech reminds me of something. I had a stalker followed me all over campus. That seems to be a very important bit of information. Can you tell us more? Um... Oh. Um... Uh... Well, I honestly don't think it's relevant. Hmm. Alright. Then, why'd you tell us about it in the first place? The last thing I remember is going to bed like every other day. Skincare, some yoga... Maybe a late text to my ex. Maybe. I won't confirm or deny that part. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. But as I said, I can name a bunch of people who would want to ruin me. Well, I can't imagine what kind of psychopath would want with me. I would never agree to something like this voluntarily. No confrontations with bad people or druggies either. His eyes glance toward Aiko and he chuckles. Hey, no judgment, bro. You do you, I do me. We can all be friends. What do you say? Are we sure it's just the eight of us? Well, we haven't seen anyone else. 
and the number of cells implies that's the case. I woke up in cell number one. Hmm. I got number four. They had me cooped up in cell two. Lucky seven. Three was my number. Five. The first perfect number, six. I'm surprised that you know what a perfect number is. Hey, don't underestimate my genius. Maybe I'm just playing dumb, you know? Using the elimination method, my number should be clear. The what? Hey, that's right. Maybe there are some clues left in one of our cells. Give me a minute. different is each cell to ours. Or are they all the same? Hmm. They're all locked again. Back to square one it seems. Any other stuff that we could... Maybe we've been kidnapped by aliens! I guess that's always a possibility. I've seen a documentary about it on TV! Are you sure you weren't watching a cartoon? What do you take me for? No, I mean, with the car, he dropped the anvil on the on the big ostrich. That was all part of the documentary. Could have been a movie, though. Welcome, contestants. Hope your stay has been comfortable. Please, let me be the first to congratulate all of you on solving the first puzzle room. First puzzle room? So there are more. What's going on? Hmm? Prick, what did you touch? Prick? Oh boy, nuh-uh, not doing this again. Aiko, don't answer when he calls you a prick. <laughs> we should come and- Hey, booming voice from the sky! What the hell is going on? Shh. Let me introduce myself. You may call me Jupiter. I am an AI far more advanced than those you've encountered before. A super AI, if you will. My creator designed me to control this facility. And I quite literally mean every aspect of it. You are observed 24-7 by me. Every step every action you can be rest assured that you are being watched <sighs> explains all the cameras but a super ai really is it creator the one who put us here i will now explain the rules of your stay please listen attentively since this will only be said once Everyone in this facility is a participant in the voting game. Every two hours, all participants may cast a vote on a participant of their choice. The collars around your necks will assist you in this feat. You see, it picks up your thoughts. Thinking about the person is enough to record your vote. Great. Oh, and of course the best part. The person with the lion's share gets injected with a deadly toxin and will die. What a load of... <gasps> what on earth is this? That... that can't be right. Is that even legal? Of course it isn't. This must be some sort of joke. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not done, you dirty rats. When it's time to vote, a check will be performed to determine if all participants are within a 200 meter radius of the main room. Whoever is not will be executed. If the voted contestant is a prisoner, the next voting game continues in two hours. There is only one way to win the game and get out of here. Although I exist all over the facility, there is but a single room where I am hosted. Destroy me, and all operations shall be ceased. Easy, right? The only way to escape death is to be among the dead. <laughs> There's no way this is happening. Is this one of those bad dreams that feels too real to distinguish it in the moment? With my amnesia, I'm nothing more than a sitting duck. A caller that records thoughts. 
Such a frightful technology. Something like that shouldn't exist. It's too early for its time. Must be some sort of role-playing game, like a murder mystery party. What on earth are you talking about? Guys, what if it isn't a joke? Uh, of course it is. Why are you even entertaining the idea that it isn't? Uh, I'm just saying there's the... Time is ticking. Enjoy your stay. Oh, we will. Don't even worry about it. Thank you for playing the demo of you, Bell. This is only a taste of what's to come. Do you want to see what happens next? Which lists the game on Steam and back us on Kickstarter. The game will now exit. I better, uh, I better stop the recording. Otherwise, the exit could crash it. So, before I click anything more, that is the end of the demo. I am blown away, man. The production value is incredible. I didn't expect it to be fully voice acted. The art's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> wow. And, yeah, I don't know. Whoa. Anyway. Well, obviously, um, there'll be links to the game in the description. Uh, this will be a Kickstarter video anyway, I believe, so, um, support it on Kickstarter. I'll put a link in the description for the Kickstarter as well, uh, on the off chance that this goes up on the channel at some point as well. Um, so you can go over and help out, um, if you want to see this game come to full fruition. But, that's all we have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting out with me and I'll see you in the next one.